Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another Q&A session. This one is all World Cup, World Games, Team USA. Woo! First question is from Michelle Jin, and she asked who my roommates were um, on the trip. And we had three different places that we stayed um, while we were in on our trip we were in Bisham Abbey before before World Cup then in Surrey or in Guildford for the actual World Cup and in Poland for World Games so in Bisham Abbey my roommate was Lisa Murray in Guildford for the World Cup we had a flat of eight people we called it Club Four it was me Kelly Rabel Jen Russell Gussie Johns Sarah Bullard Kayla Trainer Laura Zimmerman and Cookie Carr and then in Poland, uh, my actual roommate was Allie Carey, and then we shared a flat with Kelly Rabel and Becca Block. Jordan Santana asked, was the feeling of winning the World Games and World Cup the same as when you won your national championship? And that's a really great question. Um, answer is no, they're all extremely different. Um, winning a national championship, um, you get four tries essentially to win in your four years. Um, each year each year is a new, another try um, and sometimes I, went, I won and sometimes I lost. Um, but with World Cup and World Games you only got one chance every four years. So we had worked so hard for the past four years to get to that point. Um, so to win a uh, World Cup, you know, that was four years of tryouts in the making. Um, you're representing your country, you're with a much smaller team, um, so that was really cool and a much different feeling. And then World Games was sort of for the sport of lacrosse itself, um, putting the sport of lacrosse on the Olympic stage and in front of an Olympic committee, um, so that was a little different as well. All awesome, but very different. Tenley Pellet, Polo, asked, what was your favorite memory of being in Europe? And there are a lot of memories to choose from. Um, I, of course, love winning gold medals, and those were awesome moments, but I think the moments that I really will remember and cherish are the ones where we weren't on the field, um, where we were hanging out in the hallways in Guildford or putting all of our mattresses in the kitchen and watching movies all day um, the day after we won. So the moments off the field, the stupid moments, the seemingly um, unimportant moments are the ones that are actually my favorite. Lil Nugget San <laughs> asked, what was your biggest challenge that you faced during World Cup and World Games? And I think the biggest challenge was just mentally um, being engaged and preparing for games. You know, we played 12 games in 16 days or something crazy like that um, against very good competition each time. So just having to play your game then reset, refocus on a new team, and continue to be emotionally and physically ready, I think was the toughest part. Irene Lee 424 asked, um, did our team eat on a strict diet leading up to the games? And the answer just kind of depends on who you're talking to. Um, I know for myself, uh, I tried to eat a lot of chicken, a lot of rice, a veggies, protein. Um, during the games themselves, I lived off peanut butter toast and um, chicken and rice and sweet potatoes. So we had some meals where we could eat a little more freely, um, but for the most part, we ate pretty healthily until the games were done. Emily, woo, there we go. Emily Knapp asked, um, what was your favorite part about your team? And I think, honestly, my favorite part was that we are all so different um, all had different personalities, but we all meshed and formed into an awesome family, um, where everyone could be the best self, the best self they were, and, um, enjoy each other and have fun and respect one another for both our similarities and differences, and they were so fun, um, we had such a great time together, and, um, we really did become kind of one family when we were over there. And that's pretty special. Last question, Erica Peterson asked, what is the most valuable thing you learned by being on Team USA? Um, and I think for me, the answer is pretty simple, is that there's no greater honor than representing your country in anything. But 
um, to represent my country and play the game that I love and do it at the same time. Um, I learned that that is a rare occurrence. It's a special, special occurrence, but um, it's one that comes with a lot of responsibility and um, we hope that we did you proud over there because that was our goal. Thanks for watching another Q&A session. Um, if anyone has any more questions, please feel free to comment below. I always do these Q&As, um, and if I didn't get to you this time, hopefully I can get to you in the future. Um, thanks for watching.